Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're going to be working on this nice integral using Feynman's technique, and I'll be introducing all of the sub-techniques related to it, so stay tuned. Okay, so our question is evaluate this integral from 0 to 1. Then we have 32 times sine to the power of 5 ln x over ln x and dx. So I'll be using this u substitution first. So let me call this u as now ln x. That means your x is now equal to e to the power of u. So then we can say dx is equal to e to the power of u and du. So using this, let's rewrite this integral. So your i is then going to be equal to integral from now negative infinity to 0. And then we have 32 times sine to the power of 5 u. And then we have e to the power of u over now u and then du. So let's use another substitution. Let me call this as the V substitution. So let me call this V as negative U. Okay, then we can rewrite this integral I as now. Let me pull this 32 out. Then we have negative 32 times integral of positive infinity to 0. And we have sine to the power of 5 of now negative V. And then times E to the power of negative V over now negative v, d of negative v. So then we can rewrite this as now. Okay, so this is the same thing as positive 32 times integral of now then 0 to infinity, and we have sine to the power of 5 of now we have v times e to the power of negative v over positive v, and then we have dv. Okay, so this has to be the basic setup. Okay, then this is when we can use Feynman's technique. So I'll be calling this capital letter of F, now T, as 32 times integral from 0 to infinity. Okay, then we have sine to the power of 5 of the V, and then times E to the power of negative TV, and over V and DV. So what we can know is F infinity is now equal to 0. Then we can talk about derivative of this f of t. So f prime t, so this f prime t has to be equal to now then 32 times integral of 0 to infinity. Then we have sine now to the power of 5v times e to the power of negative tv and dv. Okay, then we can rewrite this using complex number. So this has to be the same thing as 32 times integral from 0 to infinity. Then we have e to the power of now iv minus e to the power of negative iv over now 2i to the power of 5 times e to the power of negative tv and dv. Okay, so this is what we have so far, and then we can rewrite this by pulling, first of all, 1 over i out. Then instead of it, I'll be using this binomial, right? So for this, I can... Rewrite this as, let me pull this 1 over i out. Okay. And we have uh, integral of from 0 to infinity. Then I'll be making this bracket. And inside of your bracket, first of all, we have e to the power of 5iv minus e to the power of negative 5iv. And then minus using your binomial 5, 4. Multiply by, now e to the power of so 3 iv minus e to the power of negative 3 iv. And then after this, we should have now then plus sign. So plus now 5, now 3. And then we can multiply this to now e to the power of just iv minus e to the power of negative iv. Okay. And then close your bracket times e to the power of negative tv and dv. Okay, now if we calculate this, then we have 1 over i. Okay, that times, now I'll be making a bracket. Then we should have now 1 over t minus 5i minus 1 over t plus 5i. Okay, then we have minus 5 times, then inside of it we should have 1 over t minus 3i. Then minus 1 over t plus 3i. Plus, and then plus, now we have 10. 10 times 1 over t minus i 
and then minus 1 over t plus i. Okay, then let's calculate this and get your expression. So it has to be the same thing as then 1 over i. 1 over i times, okay, the first, these two should be combined as now then 10 i over t squared plus 25. And then minus 5 times 6i over t squared plus 9. And then plus 10 times now then 2i over t squared plus just 1. Okay, so that's why we can cancel those i's out on your numerator. Then your f prime t is just equal to 10 over t squared plus 25. And then now we have minus 30 over t squared plus 9. And then we have plus now 20 over t squared plus 1. And from this, what I'm going to use is if you have integral of 1 over t squared plus, say, a squared dt, this has to be the same thing as 1 over a times now arc tangent of t over a. I'll be using this. Okay, then using all of this, let me fix this capital letter t to be greater than 1. Then we can talk about how your f of t minus f of 1. That is integral from 1 to t f prime t dt. Since we already know f infinity is equal to 0, then we can rewrite everything based on this expression. So what we are looking for is now, okay, negative 10 over 5. Now times arc tangent of now t over 5 minus arc tangent of 1 over 5. Okay, then we have plus 30 over 3 times now then arc tangent of t over 3 minus arc tangent of 1 over 3. Okay, then we have minus, then 20 times now arc tangent of now t minus arc tangent 1. Okay, then we already know when your capital letter t, when your capital letter t is going to infinity, then your f of infinity is going to now 0. So that's why arc tangent of this t over 5. Now this is equal to pi over 2. Okay, then using this, we can rewrite. So let's rewrite this. Then we have negative 2 times arc tangent of now then 1 over 5. And then we have plus now 2 times pi over 2. Okay, then after we have 10 times, so plus 10 times our tangent of now, then 1 over 3. And then we have negative 10 times pi over 2. Lastly, we have negative 20 times our tangent of 1. And then plus 20 times pi over 2. Okay, then making sure this our tangent of the 1, our tangent of 1, This is equal to pi over 4. So that's why we can rewrite this again. Then if you rewrite this, we should have now negative 2 times arc tangent of now 1 over 5. Okay, then we have plus pi. And we have plus 10 times arc tangent of 1 over 3. And minus 5 pi. And again, we have negative 20 our tangent of 1, but negative 20 times, now pi over 4. And plus, now we have 10 pi. Since negative 20 times pi over 4, this is equal to negative 5 pi. So that's why we can also rewrite this. Okay, so we have pi minus 5 pi, that is negative 4 pi. Negative 4 pi minus 5 pi is negative 9 pi, plus 10 pi is just equal to pi. So we have pi. And then negative 2 times arc tangent of 1 over 5. And lastly, we have plus 10 times arc tangent of 1 over 3. Okay, this is the exact 
value of the i, the integral that we are looking for. So final answer for this question is this expression. Okay, it's so a pretty interesting integral using Feynman's technique. So I'll be back with more videos with more questions like this sometime soon.